ladies and gentlemen, mm. welcome back to the Bunker Down series. So, <clears throat> we're continuing on our escapades to get to space. Mm. And I finished this up off camera. So this time... Mm. I have two things I need to do, I guess. One of them... I need to finish drilling this hole out right here. And I believe that goes almost all the way up. This is going to be where we supply our power to our door up here. that off camera I've chosen to use scaffolding here for ease of access and ease of future modification This episode we're putting a door on here. It is this corner right here. And it is this tile right here. Okay. There we go. This will be the cables to the motor. So. Step one here is going to be close this off and close this off and then we gotta clear a lot of snow out. Well, Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's put this down and let's figure out how we're laying this out. So, we need some space here. One for cables. We need to be able to get behind it. And we're going to need a lot of extension room. This will be dead center. Let's switch over to three by three. I guess I need to get a little closer to the mic here. There we go. Now, I have a very specific idea in mind for how I want to do this. Step one, chain drive, chain drive, chain drive, chain drive, chain drive. Five, okay. Then, we need... Is that how force is relayed to them? Uh, no. Maybe? We'll see. We'll see. <sighs> I'm gonna need more chassis than this. Well, maybe not. Oh, yeah. This does have to work differently. Okay.
Um, I'm going to have to go get a couple of things. I'll be right back. This is part of the reason the uh, scaffolding is so convenient. Okay. So. First things first. We got to rotate. I guess first things first is going to be figure out how we can even get these pistons to go. Also, we're going to need a long, long extension radius here. We may not need these at all. Let's see. Let's see. Let's make floor right here over to from that corner over hello to right there okay there's that now if I want to do this correctly nine one two three four five six seven we need to go seven blocks back Oh, God. One, two, three, four. This is the center, so we'll do it like that. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the pistol piston needs to be here. Bam. Okay. Let's. And now, these pistons, they need a full 17 extensions a piece. So, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, nope, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, okay, now let's remove all this dirt. I'm trying to make a functional door right now. If you didn't, if you couldn't tell. Bam. Let's fully seal this side in. And let's seal that in. Okay. Now, I'm just going to dispose of some stuff here. Is there some way I can... Does that work? If I now... If I put the motor on here... Where's our power cables? Where do these run to? Where are our power cables at? Hello? Hello? 
Okay, right here. There's our cables. So let's run some power cables. I should do... I should do all of this right here. There we go. And now we have to run cables all the way up this. Which, man, this might suck a lot. Oh, this isn't too bad. Okay. Let's go down here and let's get our stamina back up. <coughs> God. We're definitely going to need a lot more cables than this, which is annoying. I believe I started a boatload of steel smelting, right? No? Did I make a bunch of steel? Not as much as I would like. So I'm going to go ahead and get some more steel smelting. take this. We're going to need to get some fuel for this, but this is fine. There we go. Let's chuck all of this in here, and let's go get this. And let's get some steel crafting, because we're going to need an ungodly amount of it. Let's go with the Ad Astra steel, just in case. And then, let's go back over here and let's keep going. Real quick, I can make a... Uh... I can have a quicker link if I go straight through here. Okay, and let's, let's close this in. Okay, now let's run our power. I need a, uh, is there a redstone activated cable? Because I want to hook it up to a lever, ideally. And I have a lever that I pull down here, which cuts power to the whole system. So how... Real quick. Electric motors are compact and a configurable source of radi radi rotational. Changes the RPM. That requires a source of energy. Um, I always get this wrong. How the hell do you make a lever?
Okay, so that's no different than a lever. Oh, it's cobble. Bam. I have an energy cube somewhere. Can't you configure these to only put out power at a specific time? Maybe I didn't make it, actually. Maybe I didn't. Hmm. Well, let's make one now. I think we really just need the most basic of basic, which is two energy tablets. Osmium. Let's just drop a hundred iron in here real quick and let's get some of these alloys. I believe you can set this to only work under a redstone signal. That's more than I need. One, two, energy cube, bam, 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 advanced, I'm not going to bother. So if I put this down, normal. Top as output, left as input. Okay. I need to learn some things real quick. Also, I need to bring this with me. I'm curious. If I put this here, Redstone, normal. If I do that... Okay, what about inverted? Okay. That fills it up automatically. I can't have that happening. go about this. I could, I guess, make a sticky piston. Bam. I could make a sticky piston and hook that up to a lever so it just deprives it of power. For now, give me this and let's put that right there. So this system does not have power. Okay, so wait, can I just... None. Okay. Top, output, input. 
Okay, let's switch that over. I need to open this stone up now that we've got a roof over here and it's not going to fill with stone or fill with snow. Okay, they fully extended. Now, if I switch them to this way, I've made a stupid. I, I, I'm stupid. I didn't glue that together. Oops. I have to glue from this corner over to this corner. Now if I flip this around, set it to 50. Ha ha! So it's manual. Okay. That's perfect. Give me some dirt. Let's close this side on. Bam. Okay. Now, this scaffolding, let's make this back side right here. This will be how we get into this system. From here, we just flip this over. And it closes our door back. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go ahead and fill in these sides we uh, knocked the dirt out of earlier. And then we'll get started on making a rocket. There we go. We've got an opening and closing door. I need to keep all this dirt because it is actually important that I have that. So let's figure out now that we've built this what we need. for some Ad Astra stuff. Okay. First things first, a basic rocket. We need rocket fins, which are steel plates. So we need to go over here and we need to finally set up our plate refining system. Okay. If you're wondering, I need to get this backpack here because it has a lot of my Create stuff in it. <clears throat> Let's go set this up. So I want to have this system in such a way... I'm going to need some hoppers for this. Actually, I have chutes up there and I have chests up there. Chutes into chests will work great. Let's take this wall over here. Shoots, chests, conveyor belts. We need weighted ejectors. I can set up a mixing and a pressing basin. How do we make a weighted ejector? A gold plate, a depot, and a cog. Okay. Gold plate, depot, cog. Gold plate, depot, cog. I just so happen to have a ton of these. Okay. This is going to need a rotational force, so we're going to need some motors for this, which are up there. I have power to hook it up to. 
We're kind of running very low on andesite, if not completely out. So actually, I'm just going to, uh... Just gonna chop this in here so we can start getting some andesite. don't have shafts, really. Well, I think other than this ejector, we already had everything we needed up here. I need that backpack, though. <clears throat> Let's just... Bam. Okay. You are going to eject this way. Into that. That should eject onto that, yeah. Eject stack size one. Okay. Now. go inside of the wall for this and I'm going to need all of the electric cables and a boatload of shafts and cogs so perfect there's some open space right here already there we go now, how can I hook these both up? Oh, that's actually perfect. Okay. Then I can just put the motor right here. And I have... I believe I have a power line nearby I could tap into. Uh, from here straight through that wall. Oh yeah, right here. I should have got the uh, coordinate, but... One to the right, and we need to go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 blocks. I'm going to do it right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Well, I can live with that. Actually, I can do better than that, and I will. Let's just fill this in solid. And let's put this junk away. Now let's take this and our sword for a light source. Because we do have to light this place up. And let's run these cables.
There we go. Now that system should be functional, right? So we gotta close this in. chest here. for my purposes anyways. If I just set that up, let me get an iron ingot and test this out. I'll also set up my mixing basin on this. But this, I just need to make slime really. Did I ever even assemble? I didn't even assemble the top part. So. That's just going to take some work. I think I just kind of have to get a gearbox and hook that up. That should be fine. But that should be everything we need out of Create for now. grab some steel. I'm going to press 50 ingots. Okay. That's not going to work then. We have to use a depot. So this system does not get to be effective. I can crank up the speed on that press, though, so that's nice. That's decently fast. Let's fucking crank this, soldier boy. Let's let that process for a while, and let's get some of this other stuff we need. The first one is going to be a NASA workbench, which needs two steel plates, a steel block, that's easy. I got plenty of steel. Look. I mean, I'm going to need so much of this crap. I'll go with ten for now. Okay, two steel plates we have up there. Redstone torches. Super easy to make. Bam, bam. A lever, I conveniently have one, and we need to just go get these steel plates. I'm getting sick of this platform, so it's gonna go. It's 
kind of just clutter right now. For the most part, that can go. Okay, let's turn this back down so it doesn't start lagging us or anything. Actually, let's just cut it off for now. NASA Workbench, a crafting bench for rockets. I want to keep that one mostly for create and ore manufacturing, so I'll keep 90% of my rocket stuff right here. Okay. Now. Flags, that'll be neat. But, first things first. Astro ducks. Steal all around a book. Easy. Maybe this will tell me what kind of fuel these rockets take. I really hope it's hydrogen, because we have a stupid amount of hydrogen. Um, presses ingots into plates. Fuel. Even after you place your rocket, you will need to fill the rocket with fuel. Oil is found in large amounts. You'll need a lot of it for each launch. Six buckets is enough for a launch and a return. You will need to refine the oil into fuel in a fuel refinery. Okay, first things first. Let's get... We have a liquid tank. Actually, I have a couple of them. And we'll need an electric pump. We'll need pipe. I mean, basic would do, but I'll jump straight to advanced since I have the materials for it. Is that... Oh, no, it's the other way around. We have oil right here above our farm, so let's make a little offshoot platform right right there and let's go track down this oil okay here it is here it is a lot. And oil doesn't put out the fire either. Okay, but this was what I needed access to. Bam. Okay. The top is pops, that side is energy. Real quick. I can run a cable right through here. I have a linkage. configurator. Let's switch over to rotate. Bam. Okay. Now, 
right here, I'll take this space. We are still on 3x3, three three, so I can do this. That's plenty of space for what I'm doing here. This will be oil refinery. Let's just... One, two, three. I should do this differently. I should do this so I have access to the top and the bottom of these. You're not real. You're not real. Bam. Okay. Now let's... Let's connect our pipes. Also, let's go ahead and light the place up real good because I'm scared. That'll suffice. I'm sure all of these particles isn't helping with the lag. <sighs> but I believe if I hook all of this up with pipes, we should just start collecting oil. Bam! All of these are just gonna fill up with a lot of oil. And we'll just let that happen for a sec. Oh, good God. It's sucking it dry. Holy crap. Is it still... It's still pulling from the oil. Okay, that's all the oil that was here. Good God. I thought that was going to be an infinite source, and it was just that specific mod's oil, but no. No, that's not... That's not it at all. Pull. Pull. Let's go ahead and fill these two up off of these two. Okay. Let's switch you to pull and let's fill you up. Okay. Now, switch you. Let's switch you to none. Let's switch you to push to drain this pipe. Okay. Now let's collect this whole system and let's go find a couple more veins of oil. And for now, I'll, uh... That one's full. This one's partially full. There's some oil down in the cave. a good time. I have this battery here. I'm going to nab this. Just hook this up with a cable. Let's go steal our pump back. We sucked up the entire lake of oil. Okay. Let's go put some stuff away real quick. I believe that should be everything. We can put the logistical transporters up. We just need pipes. 
and we need to nab our battery. Let's go get some more oil. That still holds the power? Okay. We're good. I believe it's on the other side of this dungeon. Yep, right there. Crude oil from oil refinery. Oh, is this going to be specifically crude oil? I should pipe this into its own tank, just in case. Okay. Yeah. Crude oil. That may still work, though. Once this one fills up, we switch them out. Or is it out of power? There we go. 29, 30, 32. Okay. Let's just drink the rest of this. Okay. Dang, and that didn't use, like, any power at all. Now we have a little more room for just regular oil, not crude oil. Real quick. Crude oil. It can be processed into asphalt. Oh. Okay, it can go into the refinery too. That's fine then. And I believe there was another pit of this up on the surface. I don't remember exactly which one it was. I know the two oils probably aren't compatible together, but... How's this one? Oh, we got some decent essence. Let's give it a boost, shall we? Hey, bud. Got anything cool? Oh, yes. Yes, you do. First of all, a diamond helmet. We need a diamond helmet in every emerald we had. have. Diamond helmet. Big man. Big man. Ha. 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 One. How ha. many how many of these will you sell? Ha. Three? Ha. Oh no. Ha. 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 Four? Ha. Five. Ha. Ha. We can turn these into power armor research, so they are important. That'll allow us to upgrade our gear to the next year.
Okay, let's disenchant this helmet. I basically just paid 50 emeralds for all the enchantments I could ever want. Prop 5, mending, unbreaking, respiration. Oh, and aqua affinity. That's, that's a little added bonus, I guess. Okay, let's go check out this pool of oil on the surface. And I was able to find it. This is more crude oil. Let's, uh... Bam! Bam! You're allowed as an output. Let's give it some pipes. You are just oil. You are crude oil. working oh oh I see hold on a minute I can fix that right because this isn't an actual pool of oil for some reason I guess a creeper blew up and ruined it We'll have to go bucket by bucket here. Unless I just move over to the middle, maybe. Hold on, let's let's give that a shot. Oh, God, this... Don't get me wrong, I love the slow falling. But man, it gets on my nerves sometime. Okay. Right here. Let's do it right there. There we go. Let's hook up our cable. Bam. Why? At least I don't have to worry about drowning, I guess. You can hold... what is that? One more bucket? Let's see if this one will take some. It won't. We'll have to go empty one of these tanks out. And come back. But, I guess I can, uh... I can switch over to storing it in the pipes instead. Now this system is just going to hold, what is that, 19 buckets of oil? And let's go set up some oil refinery. Okay, let's make this thing. Fuel refinery. I swore we had furnaces. Yeah. Bam. How does this work? If I put this here...
configurate fluids that don't work. <sighs> Do I have to do it by the bucket? refinery work. At this point you can launch a rocket. There's no oxygen on the moon. In order to survive you'll need an oxygenated suit with an oxygen supply. How does this thing work? Liquid oil. Okay. Oh, oops. Uh, real quick. Hey, Gabagoo. I'm trying to learn how oil works. I don't understand. It needs oil in the left side, then it spits out that in the right side. But how the hell do I put the oil in it? Does it, like... Do I have to give it an output, maybe? Mm. Like, if I put this over here, okay? You are crude oil, you are just oil. If I put this in here, if I put this in here, if I dump this, how do I do it? Hold on. Okay, so it turns out it does have to be the specific Ad Astra buckets, which is really, real annoying. Or the specific Ad Astra oil. It won't accept any other kind of oil. <clears throat> but I went out to the ocean I sucked up an entire vein of goo and let's see how much rocket fuel we get out of this probably way more than we need Huh. So now we have so many containers of oil, and we can't do anything with any of it until we get into specific, like, random oil refinery systems. I guess that's plenty for now. And that's a ton of oil for the future. Oops. My podcast just started back up. Okay, we've got rocket fuel now. Let's just dump it in here. After all of that, we don't have a rocket, but what we do have... is we have the fuel for takeoff now, so... I'm going to do a little bit of research, make some of the parts. In the next episode, we'll be making that rocket taking off. Probably. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.